What do we have here? It has a wide angle lens, a built in stand, and a flip up LCD screen. And when it's folded up, it's about the size of a credit card. This is Canon's brand new PowerShot V10 vlogging camera. And it's one of those products that lives and breathes its namesake, aimed specifically at the vlogging crowd who demands ease of use and compact functionality. The PowerShot V10 is a unique reimagining of what a pocketable point and shoot camera can really be. So let's take a quick look because there's a lot packed in here that you might not expect. First off, let's talk about the size of this thing. There's a classic saying that the best camera to use is the one you have on you. So let it be known, the V10 is one of the most compact cameras you can possibly bring with you. Now, what exactly is compact? The V10 is a mere 90 millimeters tall, meaning it can fit into most pockets. And since the camera is designed with a vertical orientation in mind, it fits in your hand much the same way a smartphone would. But inside this tiny package though is a generous one inch CMOS sensor, giving you much more resolution and detail than the camera on your phone. Now, without getting too into the technical details here, you're starting with a 13.1 megapixel capture that gives you crisp 4K video at up to 30 FPS. You can also shoot, of course, 1080p video up to 60 FPS. And with a 19 millimeter wide angle lens, you've got ample room, not only for selfies, but for the whole gang. Of course, the PowerShot V10 is not just great for selfies. In my opinion, what makes it stand out the most, I swear I didn't try to make a pun here, is the built-in stand on the back of the unit. Now, you just flip down the stand and you automatically have a 30 degree range of tilt for the camera in either direction. You can stand it up on its own and set up for pretty much anything from a musical demo to a cooking vlog or of course, a product review. Now, if you're the creator of these kinds of videos, there are a few things that you look for, of course, in a camera. The V10 has a lot of assistive functions that I will get into in a sec, but for those who do want some degree of manual control, the touchscreen LCD can access all the camera's main exposure and picture style controls. And the best part is that it's all fully accessible from both sides. So if you start from the back and then you flip the LCD up, you can still compose and set up your shot and you don't have to worry about setting anything up before flipping the screen. The 19 millimeter f2.8 lens gives you a wide frame to capture landscapes, groups of friends, or entire tabletop displays where you might want to cram a lot into the frame. Now, this isn't a zoom lens, but the camera does offer a 1.5 times, two times, and three times digital zoom. There's also a digital image stabilizer here, and when engaged, the V10 can still provide 90% of the frame. Starting with a 19 millimeter lens, of course, means you still have plenty to work with, and you get a much smoother video as a result. There's also an enhanced stabilizer mode, which retains 70% of the frame, but you do get the smoothest video possible. Just know that you can't use both the digital zoom and the digital IS at the same time. The camera's autofocus tracking follows you as you move through the frame, keeping you in focus as you talk to the camera. But there's also a frame AF mode that product reviewers will love. Anytime you bring an item up to the camera, the V10 will refocus on it until the moment you take it off screen. It then quickly refocuses back to you. You won't have to worry about your focus shifting at the wrong time, or not at all, when you're demoing a product. The camera's got several movie filters if you're feeling a little creative, and they've even been categorized and subcategorized to fit the mood. You've got story, tasty, bright, clear, and other modes with some familiar subtypes like story, teal, and orange for that blockbuster color grade. If you're into beauty or fashion though, the camera also has a built-in smooth skin movie mode, which can conceal blemishes. Best of all is that it's not a simple on or off switch here. You can engage smooth skin mode in anywhere from one to five levels. Now, you obviously want to be heard loud and clear, right? The V10's microphone, which is built in by the way, can pick up your voice from either side of the camera. It also has an optional windscreen built in and it uses automatic noise reduction to give you clear voice recording. This could really make the difference for, say, instructional videos. Oh, and one more thing. The V10 can also take 15.2 megapixel still images, letting you take advantage of that bigger one inch sensor for gorgeous still photos as well. So when all is said and done, the V10 is a very capable vlogging camera, but the design itself is very different from pretty much any other camera out there. Now, as I said before, with the LCD and the stand closed, the V10 is a mere 90 millimeters tall. So you should have no trouble bringing it just about anywhere. It's also only 211 grams or less than half a pound in weight. Since the battery is built in, yes, that's the total weight here. The built-in stand, built-in microphone, and flip-up LCD screen mean you also won't have to carry around additional equipment like a grip, tripod, or microphone to shoot with it. 
But for those who do want to use something like a tabletop tripod, for example, the PowerShot V10 does have a quarter 20 thread on the bottom, giving you the option to do just that. And while we're looking at the outside here, you'll notice that it comes in two colors, both silver and black. Recording is done to micro SD cards on the bottom here. And to give you an idea of recording times, a 128 gigabyte card can fit approximately two hours, 20 minutes of standard quality recording. For those on the go though, the camera can automatically transfer videos and photos to a smartphone using Canon's Camera Connect app. And streamers will also love that the V10 can be configured as a UVC webcam through the USB-C connector. There's also a micro HDMI port, so you can directly connect the camera to any HDMI monitor, TV, or capture card if you want to do it that way. But there's also direct live streaming from the Camera Connect app, removing the need for a computer altogether. Recently, we've seen a number of cameras embrace vloggers and content creators in some interesting ways, but Canon's really trying something new here with the PowerShot V10. The design alone is unique, and it provides a comfortable, easy shooting experience for those looking to upgrade their video quality without breaking the bank. The stand and the flip-up LCD screen are definitely, in my opinion, the highlight features here, and they do make the V10 one of the easiest ways to just get out there and start shooting. The wide 19mm lens and full touchscreen control also make it a familiar experience for those coming from smartphones, and the camera has a ton of features to let you get the right setup depending on the type of video you're creating. So let us know in the comments below how you could use Canon's PowerShot V10. I'm Doug with B&H, and I'll see you next time.